Now attached to your chest tube from this tubing here is a drainage system. This drainage system, I wanna explain that to you and kind of let you know about some things to watch for. First off, all of your connections on your tubing, they need to be either taped or zip tied. And that's to make sure that we maintain this closed sterile system. Now, there's two attachment sites. This one on this side is attached to the patient and it goes directly to the chest tube, okay? That chest tube has either been placed in the pericardial space or the pleural space of the lung, okay? Now, this side is going to be attached to your wall suction. You wanna make sure that you've checked the doctor's order to make sure that that's at the appropriate level. Now let's talk about the chest tube drainage system itself. It's important that you know the difference between all the different chambers in your chest tube. First off, we have chamber A, okay? That is your suction control chamber. Typically, that is filled with sterile water to the 20 centimeter line right here, okay? Now, if you have a dry system, that differs a little bit and you'll have a dial that you'll be looking at. And we'll go over that more in depth in lab. Now, moving on to chamber B. This is your water seal chamber. Now, this is important because it helps create a seal and maintain that negative pressure in the lung so that it can heal. It needs to be at the two centimeter mark right down here. The third chamber that I want you to look at is C and that's just at the bottom of the water sill, and that's where we monitor for an air leak. Um, if we have an air leak, we need to make sure and notify the doctor. Last but not least is section D. Those chambers, it consists of three chambers, and these chambers hold about 2,100, excuse me, 2,100 mils of drainage, and that comes directly from the patient and is collected here. We wanted to be watching that and documenting output at least every two hours, more frequently if the doctor uh, has ordered that, okay? Now, things I want my patient to watch for is if we have a sudden um, decrease or increase in the amount of drainage that's coming out of that chest tube, or if we have bright red blood, okay? If you see those things, go ahead and press your call light and notify me so I can come in and assess you and assess the drainage system.